just gonna start off from the beginning. So S tier obviously best tier. So if the operators get to the S tier, it means that they are, in my opinion, one of the needed ones, and overall like really really good and balanced, or maybe even overpowered in my opinion. But we start off with the good one, Sledge, which I think is one of the better operators in the game. And um, I don't know. Since Sledge lost the SMG eleven, I um, I don't see him as a S tier operator anymore. More like an A, maybe even B. He has a good gun. Uh, the pistol is okay. He has an aid. So he has well his ability with the sledgehammer. He's good. Overall, okay, good. <laughs> Thatcher, well, obviously he got his nerf a while ago, uh, he's still really needed, he's a good operator, he's useful, and I actually really like to use Thatcher, he has good guns, he has the pistol too, but, uh, instead of SMG-11 I mean, but, um, yeah, maybe A for uh, Thatcher, I mean, because, like, he's needed most of the time, and... Well, his gadget is really useful. Maybe even more useful than so I'm gonna put it in front of Sledge. Maybe that's like kinda weird for some some people might think that's weird to put Sledge behind Thatcher, but I think I think that way maybe maybe even more because I'm biased because I really like Thatcher more than Sledge. But um, both are good, really good operators. Then is Smoke, um Smoke is some someone who I never gonna learn to use. I always try, but I never get good rounds with him. Well, sometimes I do, but rarely. Uh, he's a good operator. I really like to use him, and I will maybe. Well, goddamn, I think he's because he's entry denial. He has amazing shotgun. He has the S SMG 11. So like, I don't know, A or S. Maybe even S for uh, smoke because he's actually so useful, especially in ranked games. Like you can waste waste so much time from the attackers. So yeah, he's definitely an S tier operator. Then is mute. I feel like mute has always been like from the SAS the least like like used operator. And for a reason, I don't think mute is that useful. I mean, it's cool that he can block the claymores. He can block a lot of shit and. He can be really useful, yes. But then again, you cannot anymore do the walls. Like, you can, like, block the walls from being opened with the, his gadget, which is kind of annoying. But he has a great gun. The shotgun again, and there's... Uh, was he an SMG-11? Yes, he does. I was I needed to think about that for a little while. Um, I still gonna put him in B tier, because he is not the most useful operator. But he's still really good. Okay. Thermite has always been a great operator, he, ha he has a great gun, and his ability is great. I think he's an A, opera a, a tier operator because like, okay, his gadget is really useful, he has great guns, he's really easy to use so beginners can use him. Actually all of these three here are really u like easy to use if you're a new player, like Thatcher, Sledge and Thermite, they're all really um, good. Maybe I, I don't. I think I'm gonna put uh, Thermite in front of uh, Thatcher and Sledge, but only because I really like to use him most out of these three. And well, his gun is great. I like it more than uh, the gun the both both of the SAS operators have. Um. So yeah, next is Ash. She has guns and nerves. Like nerves, nerves. <laughs> She's been <laughs> nerfed so many times, and well, goddamn. I used to think Ash was an A tier operator. I think now she is a B tier operator. In front, behind me, though, that's a good question because the gun R for C is still good. A little bit harder to handle the recoil, but it's uh, reasonable. G36C is a great gun, um, but is she that amazing? I think she belongs behind Mute, which is kind of weird, because I always thought she was like here, maybe like behind the Termite right here. So yeah, next is Pulse. I never like 
don't like to use pulls. I do not like pulls. I hate the UMP. The shotgun is okay. Uh, secondary is fine. The gadget is cool, I guess. I just don't like pulls. He can be really useful, but some people don't know how to balance using the gadget and then use the nitro and like the like the like the balance between using the gun and nitro and the gadget can be hard for new players which i think is a problem of using uh, pulse next is castle oh he has gotten some nice uh, buffs i think He's easily a B tier operator, I really like him. Even though he has the UMP, he has the shotgun too. But his gadget can be so good, can take so much time, and maybe even uh, some uh, utility from the attackers if they want to open his uh, barricades. So that's why he's like B tier. I don't think he's in front of Ash though, but behind Ash. So B tier operator, I think many people would disagree with this, but four barricades now. The shotgun is good, especially if you're waiting like near the barricade and somebody opens it, opens it, and then you can just like push and kill the person behind there, unless it's a Monty, which is <laughs> next, actually. So, Monty, many people don't know how to play as Monty, I don't know how to play as Monty, Monty can be really good, Monty can be really useless if played wrong, can be waste of time for the defenders to try to kill him. But playing him can be difficult, so I'm gonna put him. Uh, I don't know. Should I put him in front of pulls or behind? I think I'm gonna put him behind pulls. Monty is good. He's not amazing. He's good. It's like well, in the middle, like you can see. So obviously the shield can be protecting the other attackers. Monty can be in the front line pushing. But many people don't know how to play as him, so that's why it's like C tier. Also, I don't know how to play as him, and I don't personally like to play as Monty like that much. Even though I have cool uh, shield skins, I have the snowman and the cool colorful one, the Ella one, on Monty on my PlayStation, which is really I really like those two. Even though I cannot see them, that's the problem. But great uh, shield skins you can have. Next is Twitch, and I used to hate Twitch, to, like a play as her, ne never like hated her as an operator. Her gun is good, she's not the best, but she's not the worst. I love Twitch, I, I love to use her now, especially when the drones got a buff. The gun feels nice to use, especially close up obviously, but she's really fun. And I don't know, should she go in front of Ash or not? I think she belongs still behind Ash though. She's good. Really good operator. Next is Doc. And. Oh, god damn. I don't know what to do. Doc is an operator I sometimes do so much shit with. Like, I can do so good. Oh, then I don't do shit. I just die as, like, the first person. Uh, I don't like the MP5. Not my thing. I never liked it. I do not like the secondary shotgun, the secondary shotgun, the primary shotgun I meant to say. Overall, Doc can be good, but I don't know how to play as him. I don't really like him, he's not the most useful operator. He can be use useful, but then again, if you die first and you haven't even used any stims, there's no gadget like left for the other defenders. So he's kind of like a selfish operator in a way, if you play for yourself and you try for risky tactics but he can be good so i'm gonna put him in c be behind i mean in front of um pulse and monty then is rook i like rook more than dog only because of the 2.0 on the mp5 even though i don't like the mp5 uh, but i also think rook is really useful because you can just give the armor to everyone and they're gonna use it and now when you can actually see the help of um from coming from the armor because you can see the H hp you get which is cool I think that's really cool. So, Rook belongs to B tier. Really good. In front of. Oh, actually. Yes, in front of um, Castle. Not in front of Twitch, obviously not. But he's a good operator. Next is uh, Fuse. Fuse is, in my opinion, really underrated. Really good operator. And right now, because the four cluster charges can be 
really fucking useful, especially if the defenders don't roam around. They are really near the objective, and Fuse can do a lot. Um, I have well, my lovely boyfriend who just destroy people with Fuse. It's like ridiculous. On in unranked too. Not in ranked, but unranked. So pretty good. The AK is okay gun on, on, on the fuse though, but it's not the best, so that's why I'm not gonna put him higher. He's only a one speed. I wish he was two speed two two armor, so it would be like a little bit better, in my opinion, but he's great, in my opinion, and underrated as heck. Glass, I actually like glass a lot, but I know he's not the best. I really like to use him. I love his gun. I love his um that he that, that he has nades. <laughs> I, I really like to use him, and I can do a lot with the glass, but I've noticed I can do a lot, and I like I like all the cosmetics you can get from him, not all of them obviously, but like, the personalized ones are really cool, especially for the gun, and black eyes for, for his primer looks amazing, and I never see anyone have it, so it's really cool and special in my opinion, I love glass, and I used to like, have an obsession for glass. So maybe that's why I'm putting him maybe a little bit higher than he should be. Maybe he should be in E tier because obviously that recoil on the gun is pretty bad. But glass can be good, okay? If you just hold angles in cer certain maps, he can be really fucking good. And I don't know about this, but I think I'm gonna put Kali in the same... Actually, no, that, that's too low for Kali. I'm gonna put Kali in C tier because Kali is is good, but rarely people use her effective, effectively. So so like people like might use her good, but then what happens is they usually die because they have the primary out when they are like near like close combat with another player, and you can easily miss a shot with Kali too. But like and if you don't get the highlights like glass, but like. I still think Kali is better than Glass, obviously, because the gun doesn't have that ridiculous uh, recoil. Plus, you can zoom in with the gun. I don't know if you can beat Glass's gun. No? Yes? No? I don't know. Uh, Chungus, obviously, for the memes, I would put him in the S tier. But for actual use, use, God damn, usefulness, I'm gonna put him. <laughs> this might shock some people, but I'm gonna put him next to Fuse. And enter denial, great. His primary the um, LMG, not so great because it takes forever to aim with it. it, takes forever to shoot with it, and the fire rate is so hacking slow. But it's better than the SMG, which has a horrible recoil. Now, I don't know what happened and when. What happened and when? But the SMG, uh, uh, Capcan and Chungus half has a really bad recoil now. He used to have no recoil. And talking about Capcan, we are gonna actually put him. Oh, god damn. He got a buff. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be kinda funny. Now when I think about this, maybe maybe Chungus should be like here if we're being like reasonable. He's not actually like better than Dog, maybe. Nah, nah. Great anti denial. Okay, guns, and it's jungle, so that's why it gets higher than D. <laughs> so yeah, but Capcan in front of Fuse, great operator because you can put many traps on one door now or window, which can be useful. But then again, the traps can be more obvious, which is the problem. But it can be again like it used to be one, well, one shot kill, one hit kill basically, like it used to be if there's multiple traps on one door. So. Capcom, really good. Blitz. I used to play a bit with Blitz, like there was like a little season when I played a lot as Blitz. Um, yeah, D tier. <laughs> I don't have much to say about him. The shield can be fun, but I, I always get shot through the shield, okay? I, I don't know why I always get shot through the shield. Oh, somebody shoots my, shoots my shoulder or my leg or something, and it's really annoying. But it can be useful if, if you're going against a newer player, or if you surprise with the Blitz, it can be really good.
but it doesn't always work. So that's why behind glass, you have the pistol. The pistol is good. The pistol is really good, but these two, not the best operators. IQ, oh um, my god, I don't know. IQ, actually, actually, I don't know if this is kind of weird to put IQ this high. No, 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 that is. We're gonna put her in the B tier. In front of all these. Actually, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm second guessing everything. Um, between Mute and Ash. IQ is really good. The good. She has great guns. All of her guns are actually fun. The AUG kind of has a weird fucking sight. It's so big you can't really see anything on your screen if you're not aiming. Which is kind of annoying. Um, great operator. Uh, can be really useful. But then again, can be also a little bit selfish operator if you don't ping any gadgets. Or if you just run around and die as first person. But it's, it's fun. IQ. And IQ is also fucking pretty. Like, oh my god. She's beautiful. But she's a fun operator. I actually really like to use her. Both of her primaries. I'm not talking about the AUG now. So, yeah. Next is... Uh, I was about to say Blitz. Bandit. And I never liked... Uh, his gun. Guns, actually. I don't like the shotgun. I don't like the SMG. But I think he belongs... In the B tier. Now when I think about... Maybe Castle should be like... Here, yeah, that makes more sense. Or maybe even no, castle then then dog. But yeah, uh, bandit belongs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe no. I'm I might still change this because this is kind of like I feel like Ash is there and maybe bandit is there and Ash is yeah <laughs> maybe like this, but B tier in in any, any case. Bandit is good. I know the gun can be great. Some people play with iron sights. It looks actually kind of nice on iron, with uh, iron sights, but I play with hollow. Looks great. The gun has cool uh, uh, gun skin spread. Bandit is a fun operator. Can be really, really useful. That's why I feel like I might put him a little bit too low. And when I think about this, maybe mute is too high. This is actually changing a lot. Yep. Let's let's do this. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Okay, now I'm not gonna change this. This this order makes the most sense for me now. Yes, indeed. Twitch, IQ, Bandit, Ash, uh, Rook, Mute, Capcan, and Fuse. Okay, this makes the most sense to me because it might I might be a little biased because I I like Twitch most of the from all these operators, but I feel like she has a great gun and gadget can be really useful. Any case. Uh, bandit, fun operator, can be really useful, but you can use Kite and yeah, and you cannot do the hatches, so that's why B. Jaeger, oh, Jaeger, oh my god, I cannot get the Jaeger. Jaeger, hello, Jaeger, Jaeger doesn't want to come. Hello, okay, um, Jaeger is having some. Technical issues. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Jaeger. Okay, there we go. Jaeger is coming next. Um, uh, yes. Maybe people would get mad at me for this, but Jaeger. Yeah. Here. Jaeger is good. He's not the best. He's not the worst. He's good. I mean, his gadget is really important, really good. Uh, but the gun's recoil is pretty bad. The shotgun is obviously good, but um, he's an okay now. He used to be like here for me, but now he's like B. Maybe Rook should be, yeah. Ashton Jaeger. Ash Jaeger mains! Woohoo! But I feel like actually doing this. Okay, <laughs> I'm changing this so much, but the B, okay, this looks, yeah, that makes the most sense, okay. Yeah, that is not so weird anymore. I might still change these, maybe I'm gonna drop the fuse, fuse and cap gun in this, yeah, maybe that makes more sense. Okay, then is Buck, Buck is great, I love the gun, I love, like, everything about Buck, 
he's really useful and that's why he's an eighteen ripper you can open so much floors walls you can do so much damage with the shotgun obviously not to players anymore it's because they changed that but he's really useful like honestly bug is so much fun to play as too like and new players, they can learn to play as Bug pretty easily. The gun has a little bit of recoil, which is kind of annoying, but you can you can still cope with it. It's good. And, well, I mean, when we talk about the gun, I'm talking about the AR. The DMR can be fun too, but uh, it's kind of meh, in my opinion. Frost, oh my god, I'm so... I feel like I'm so biased to put Frost so high up, but, like, Frost can be so good if you know where you place your traps. Like, oh my god. Um, is it better... Than some of these uh, definitely not uh, Frost is not better than Jaeger, Ash or these ones in front here but Frost can be really fun the Frost mats are really fun to use Frost is really easy operator to use has great guns the SMG is fun no recoil the shotgun is really fucking good still even though it got nerfed back in the time pretty badly but uh, I love Frost. Frost is amazing. Blackbeard is goddamn useless. Sometimes you might get saved by your shield, but that's rare. Because literally one bullet and it's broken pretty much. So, well, obviously it depends on the gun. But, like, he's not good. His guns are pretty bad. His gadget is weak, weak as heck. So, definitely. E tier. I don't know if even F tier is gonna have anyone because I've done this like this. So maybe F tier is gonna be delete. Can I just delete this somehow? Probably. Yep. There we go. That makes more sense. Valkyrie. I love Valkyrie. Intel can be so fucking good. But the problem is now you're gonna throw the cameras out anymore. Even before that, they moved some of the threes, so you're gonna throw the three to the threes the cameras anymore. It used to be so good, like in Clubhouse, um, in C next to the wait a minute, what's CCTV? I haven't played this game in a little, little while. In Clubhouse, anyways, the window next to garage, like on the upper floor, you could throw the camera outside to the three, and it was such a great place to get intel from. But now you're gonna throw the cameras even outside anymore. So I'm not gonna put her that high. I'm gonna put, yeah, I think this is fair put her in um, in an A, a tier. I don't know if Buck should be in A tier. I think Buck should be in A tier, okay? Okay, this is this makes more sense. I know Valkyrie's guns are pretty weak, like the SMG doesn't do much damage. I love to use the Deagle though, amazing gun. Intel is always amazing and important thing, especially in Siege. So why wouldn't you want more Intel? But not everyone throws the cameras in good places, they are easy to find, and people keep on pinging, especially on lower, lower like, uh, ranks or levels, keep on pinging with the cameras, so they give it away. So it's kind of mm, situational, but Valkyrie can be really fucking useful. Capital, underrated as heck, goes there, no, goes yep, there. Yes, um, uh, um, Capitao is good. He's a really good operator. Uh, his guns are great. Pretty much the same stats. The LMG takes longer to load, but it has more ammo. Oh my god, he's actually really fucking good when you think about it. There's not much like... You need to know where the enemies are, which is the problem. If you want... Well, sometimes you can... To shoot the fire arrow and maybe get a random kill or block some entries or some some windows or doors doorways with this gadget which can be really good but it doesn't always work and then the smokes are kind of fun to use to yes the claymore i'm an obsessed with claymore so that's why i'm gonna put him there but he's a really good operator and i love to use him so, B tier. Uh, this makes the most sense now, but I'm looking at this. Yeah, indeed. Maybe I should drop uh, Monty here because uh, many people don't know how to play. Okay, that that's better. That's better. Definitely this. Oh, no, no, no. It's a difficult one. I am dead on 
a calf main used to be, at least before. I played a lot as calf. She's, I think, my second most used operator on defense after Frost, maybe. And Valkyrie, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she's first. I don't know. But um, I love calf. But maybe people don't know how to play as calf. I don't always know how to play as calf. And she can be a really selfish option because she doesn't bring anything to the team unless you get interrogation, which doesn't always happen if people play together and they communicate. You might not get interrogation, so she can be really useless. So I don't know. It's really it's really hard to put cap anywhere because like she can be like actually like S tier and she can be actually like D tier or even E tier. So I think the most fair thing to do is just put her in here. I mean, actually no. Okay, let's let's do. Let me think about this. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, no. Chang is maybe maybe like this. Yeah. Okay. So Cap is in C tier. She can be actually S tier if the people who play as her know what to do. She can be so fucking good. But most of the time, people don't know what to do. So C tier. I love Cap personally, but I'm not gonna put her higher because I think it's unfair. And totally an S tier operator, Hibana. I have. I have so much love for Hibana. Hibana is so good. Her gadget is amazing. Her guns are good. Actually amazing. Both of the guns. She has the bearing 9. That's great. Love it. She's just overall great, great, great operator. I love her so much. And now when you can open hatches with only two, uh, her, what are they called? Pellets? Kairos? Pellets? Whatever they're called. Pellets, pellets, whatever. You don't need to use so many of the fucking gadgets, so you have more for the wolves or other places, which is really cool. And again, the primaries are great. The secondaries, well, the bearing nine is always a good option. She's always needed, she's good. Better than Thermidine, in my opinion, just because I think she's more versatile, in a way, because you have more, uh, more of the gadget to be used. I know you cannot open as big walls as you can with Thermite, but she's better in my opinion, anyways. Echo, I never liked Echo, he can be really good. I really don't like him, I don't like his gun, I don't like him at all. But I know he belongs in S, I mean not S, A tier. At least A tier, because he can be so, so, so good if, if you know how to play as him. But most of the people just are on the drones and let the people run in the objectives. Don't do anything and get killed because they just on their drones. That's why I would put him here, maybe. But because Echo can be so good and needed, he deserves fucking A. I don't like Echo at all, personally. Uh, Jekyll? Mm, Jekyll is always a fun operator to use. Uh, his guns are great, but you cannot really scan so many footprints anymore, so you need to follow them instead. His guns are actually really fucking good, I actually love them. Mm, he's a fun operator. Uh, but nobody likes him, he's usually banned, so that's why no, not, nothing like... He's nothing... Uh, I don't even know if he's better than Capital, maybe Capital goes in front, yeah. But he's Ash better than... Okay, that makes more sense. I don't think Jaeger is better than uh, Jacko in my opinion, which maybe many people might get mad at, but I don't think... Even though his, uh, yeah, his gadget is amazing, but there's a cooldown, the gun has a lot of recoil, he's only 2 speed anymore, so... Mm, it's like almost there, but I don't know. I don't know. Also, my phone is really loud. God damn, I'm getting spammed today. Let me turn my volume off. Mira. Uh, not because you can break the mirrors, or the mirrors. She's not that good anymore. Maybe Max there. Behind Frost. She's really useful still, but you can break the mirrors and then it's kinda you can't see anything and it's kinda meh. Her guns, fine, good. I never liked the vector really. So yeah, that's my opinion. Uh Jing is gonna surprise many people probably, but I'm gonna put her right there. In the A tier maybe even there 
I actually was tempted to put her in S tier. She has a gun which reloads like so fast, has so much ammo, so good. Candela's amazing, and you can before that you can burn uh, the ADSs if there's a Jaeger with the smokes, and you can literally get so many just basically free kills because people are blinded. She's amazing. Like literally, I love healing. I never use her though, but I love her. Um, Legion. I never liked Legion. I never really used him much. He's a fun operator. He has a good gun though, so he goes. He goes there. No. 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 That's good. That's good. In front of Frost, behind Jaeger. Great gun. Uh, basically intel gadget and also damaging gadget, which is great. He can slow down players a lot, which is great. Now when I'm saying these things, I, I think I should put him higher, like, there. Yes, indeed there. He's actually, like, really good operator, but I don't like to use him, but he's, he's amazing. Sophia, with the LMG, <laughs> with the fucking LMG, oh my god. God, she can destroy people. I'm gonna put her. Uh, mm, yes. Actually, no. We're gonna put. This is what I'm doing. I noticed both are soft breachers. Sledge and Sophia. Soft breachers. But. Sophia can do it from further away. I know she has a pretty small limit of the gadget. Basically, two. A sledge can have many hits on the walls, doors, windows, whatever. But Sophia has the LMG. She has a claimer, which I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with claimers. They can give you so many free kills. And also, if you play solo queue, you can basically just check that nobody runs in your back or like tries to flank or anything. So yeah, she's great. She's two speed, two armor. I like that. Me, I think Thatcher is too high now. Yeah, yeah. Sophia deserves but there. Yes, that makes more sense. Now when I think about it, I should probably change these again, but I don't know. Yes, this makes the most sense for me right now. Ella, I love Ella. Ella is so good. People, uh, I think she is used a lot, but still feels like she's underrated in a way. Is she amazing and the most useful? Um... I don't know. She can give you a lot of intel what the enemies are coming from, especially if you're in a one versus one and you hear Ella's crystal of mine going off. Great intel. The shotgun is amazing. Even from far away, it does a lot of damage. The secondary, the pistol, is a lot of fun. It's so good. And you have a shield, so can you complain? Ella is definitely here. Deserves a spot in B tier. So, yeah. Dokkabi, I think she's overrated. She's not that good. Her guns are not that great. She deserves a spot in a D tier. I know Intel, it's always great. But, um, no thanks for Dokkabi. Her guns are sh pretty shitty. I mean, you can get cool kills with the Bosch G and the DMR can be good. But they are mediocre guns, in my opinion. And again, this is just my opinion on all of these, and I might be a little bit biased um, towards some of the operators in a bit, uh, because uh, like in a in a small way, but not like completely. I am trying to look all operators from the usefulness of the gadget, the guns, and like to see this from a new player's perspective and a good player's perspective or pro players. So yeah, Vigil. Um, indeed, uh, deserves a spot in A tier. Uh, in front of you. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yes, Vigil, amazing gun. The Kia, amazing. Just, I love it. Mm, C75, was it? Yeah, um, great gun. It's fun to use. Um, his catch is really useful, but then again, he's a selfish choice. So if you don't get anything done with him, there's nothing for the team. There's just a team left. So yeah, 
Mitchell is a lot of fun to use, and I love him. And he's he's really easy to use. Uh, Lion and I. Many people know that I am obsessed with Lion. Lion is my favorite operator of all the operators. Like, but I know that I cannot put him in S tier just because he's my favorite operator. So that's why I am gonna put him there. Yes, that that makes actually really a lot of sense for me. Lion deserves a spot in B tier. Great gun. Can be a little bit hard to handle if you never used guns which have a lot of recoil. But great gun anyways. Has the claymore which I love. Our secondaries are gonna meh the magnum or the gun 6. Which is not really that great. It can be for certain situations but not always. The lion, the gun is great. The gadget is amazing. It can give you a lot of intel. or like You can put a defender in a spot where they can run. To like um, to uh, and to like um, how do you say it? Expose themselves, you know. Or they can stay still. But if they are in a rush to defuse, or if there is a uh, fuse actually fusing above, they can either die to the fuse or run because of the lion scan and then get exposed. So. It can be really useful, especially when you play with someone like Fuse. If you have a Fuse Lion team, it can be really good. Finca. Now, she is a lot better. But I still wouldn't put her higher than... Yeah. Mm, yes. Better than Doc, in my opinion. But then again, we're talking about different sides. Attacker, defender. Finka is fun. I love Finka. She can be fun to use. Just run with the sausage, the sask, and just get a lot of kills. Doesn't always work though. And if you die first, and you don't get to use your boost, you're again one useless operator. Alibi. That's got some nerves. Nerves. Nerf. Yeah, she has got a, got a nerf. Recently to the uh, storm gun, which is kind of annoying. So I would put her maybe here. I like to. Uh, I used to use her so much. Like she was so much fun. She's still a fun operator to use, but not the greatest. Her guns are okay. The gadget is mediocre. So yeah. Uh, Maestro indeed deserves a spot. Um, I would say right about there. And why I wouldn't put him higher is because um, now you can break the cameras by hitting them, so you, you cannot see anything unless you open the lens in front of the Maestro cams, which is kind of annoying. So no higher for him. Um, Maverick can be a game changer, and that's why I'm putting him in S. He has a great gun. He has nades. Secondary ain't bad. And he can open walls if they are... Uh, like uh, electrified by kite or bandit so great operator requires a lot of skill to play as in my opinion but if you learn and master him oh my god he can be so good like i get destroyed by fucking maverick players all the time clash honestly if you know how to play as clash you can be again maybe even in b or a tier but most people don't get any kills with class, they don't even slow people down, they just die first because they might get shot from behind and just it's all over. Clash can be fun, can be a little bit like like Monty, take time from the other side, like waste time basically. Which is fun. She's she's okay, but her as SMG is okay, same as Collie's, the secondary. Oh, she's okay, okay. Nomad. Dropping easily in S tier. I know I play... Nomad is the most played operator for me. Like, I, I have played so much more with Nomad. Nomad than any, anybody else other than Lion. Lion Nomad are my top two used, most used operators on attack on PlayStation. Um, Nomad. Flank watch. Amazing. Guns. Great. Um... Secondaries are good too. Two speed, two armor. 
great. Nothing bad to say. She's an amazing operator. I recommend everyone to try her at least once. She can actually like change the game so much and she's so useful. I love her. Uh Kaid, definitely there. Amazing operator, fun to use, easy to use. Aug is okay gun. Not the best, not the worst. It's a mediocre gun. But the pistol. The pistol is a lot of fun. That is a fun gun. You can get so many fun kills with that. His gadget is very versatile. I love that. So that's why. I maybe even... Nah, 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 nah. We're gonna put him here. Behind... Uh, Turbine. His guns are fun, but can be hard to use. And the AUG is not the best. The pistol can be a little bit hard to use because he has a lot of recoil. But you can get a lot of fun kills with it. So that's why A tier. Behind Termite though. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. I was about to move maybe Bicho, but then I realized his gadget, Kai's gadget is, gadget is more versatile and better than Bicho's. Again, we have another. Um, could I say trap or upgraded? But. Um, I think Gridlock is underrated. I'll put her in B tier. Great guns, really good gadget, which can either tell if somebody's coming behind you or do a lot of damage to the ones who are coming behind you or in front of you or wherever they're coming from. Gadget is really useful. And she's a fun operator, easy to learn and easy to use. So, fun. Mozzie, and Mozzie, I love Mozzie. Actually, no, I cannot put him in S tier anymore. He goes behind Bichu. I would have put him in S tier, but because Twitch doesn't have her drones in the prep phase anymore, so the Moshi can have a little hard time to get the Twitch drones, for example. So that's why I cannot put him higher. The Commando, great gun. Uh, he's a fun operator to use overall. Just great, easy, fun. And the gadget is good. But then again, now when I think about this, if you don't get any drones, he's also a useless operator. So maybe I should drop him there. But then Vigil has the same problem. If you don't get anything done, you don't get anything done. You might waste some time from the attackers, but... Mm. Any case. Uh, knock. Um... Fucking useless. I I don't like Nook. She has bad guns. The Deagle is the only reason I'm putting him in front of. Well, okay, Blackbeard has the Deagle too. The Nades is the only reason I'm putting her in front of uh, Blackbeard. Okay, easy as that. Gadget fucking useless. Well, you can you might sneak somewhere sometimes, but it's, it's not that not that. Warden. Um. Eh, that's too high. I I maybe maybe like here. Warden is okay. He's not the best. He's not the worst. Great shotgun. The same as smoke and um, mute has. Fun operator to use. Gadget can be useful. But then again, I think about this again. And I think these have the same gun, but whose gadget is more useful? Who is easier to use? I feel like I feel like I'm putting this way too high. There we go. That makes the most sense, okay? Yeah, his gadget can be really hard to like time right. He has the shotgun, which gives gives me a better spot, and he has the point more steps. Lovely. Amaru, underrated as heck. Um, can be really fucking good, but then it doesn't always work. That's why we put her in B tier. Great guns. Has the SMG 11. Fun gadget. B tier. Easy as that. Goyo being nerfed. Not so good anymore. Yeah. I don't like the Vector that much. Uh, he can be a little hard to use for new players. The shields might fuck you all up and like might fuck your team up too. Like, if the enemies get inside of the objective, then you have. Your shields near doorways and they shoot the sh uh, shields 
and boom. No one gets in and they might win that way. So that's kind of annoying. Well, my definitely worse than uh, Jaeger in my opinion. Um, in front of Amaru, in my opinion though. And I feel like Rook is way too low. Maybe Rook should be like there. And Amaru should be... Nope, nope, this is good. <clears throat> but yeah, one my okay operator. I don't really like his guns. There's the oh, there's the M MP5K. Uh, they kind of make the okay though, anyways. And well, he's all all right. He has the impact grenades, which I like a lot. He can be fun to use, but definitely worse than Jaeger. I am up underrated. Underrated as heck. Oh my god, Ayana can be so good. Eh, no, that's too much. Oh my god, I feel like I should have Echo higher up because he can be good. But then again, not everyone plays him like a pro player. No one plays any of any of the operators like a pro player, but some of them can be still easy to use. Ayana, any case, great operator. The service of spot here. Fun gadget, great guns. Nades. It's just overall, she's a lot of fun to use, and she can be somewhat hard to use for a new player. But if you learn to master, she can be really good. Orx. Mm, I don't know. Maybe there. Uh, Orx can be hard to use. The gun is good. He's a fun operator in a way, but it doesn't always work. So that's why I only see it here behind Warden, because Warden has better guns. And, well, okay, well, Warden, Warden has, like, maybe worse gadget, in my opinion. Because you never can really time it well. But then again, Orcs can, like, it's hard. Hard to choose. Maybe I should even put the castle. Yeah, definitely castle should be there. Um... A nerfed AK, 12, uh, okay gadget, mm, he used to be like a S tier for me, but now he's like, mm, I don't wanna, yeah, maybe B tier there, that way. Mm, let me think about this, Rook, Ace, yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Ace is good, the gadget is good, the AK is, well, it's still, you can deal with the gun, okay? You can still do shit with it. Um, okay, nothing much to say about him. He, he's okay, a lot worse than other hard preachers though, in my opinion. Because they have like full-on good sets, all of these three. Good guns, all of them have um, really reliable gadgets. I mean, he does have a real, real uh, reliable gadget. But his gun is kind of meh now. Yeah. I think these three are just a lot better. Um, this. Oh my god. Melusi? Yes. Melusi. Um, there. Next to Womoy. She's okay. Not the best, not the worst. Her gadget is kind of fun. Doesn't work anymore as well because you can just uh, shoot it. That's why I maybe should even put her lower. She could be lower, yeah, definitely. But then again, she has a, she has the MP5, which many people use really well. She has the shotgun, which uh, Frost has. So maybe there. Yes, there. That's a good spot. She's okay. Not the best, not the worst. Um, good guns. The catcher can be fun to use. Can actually help a lot sometimes if you place them in good, good places. She has impact grenades, that's great, so. Zero, I never liked Zero, I don't like to use him, his gun is, well. Some people like, uh, it's really like, hard to say which gun is more used on him. The, the same as Bandit has, or his own special one, well, special, special. He goes to, there, his gadget is really, rarely actually working well. And many people don't even use it, and the cameras are easy to see. So, meh. And I say bye. Yep, that way even. Aruni, after the nerf for the Pironi, um, the DMR is okay still. The gadget is really, really useful. Really, really fucking useful. Um, 
God damn it, the guns are so fucking shit now. Yeah, she can't go higher than that. The DMR is still okay. Well, it has always been okay, but it's not the best. You can do some damage with it, but then again, with the DMR, it's kind of meh. Yeah, not higher for Aruni, but Aruni is one of my favorite operators of all time, too. Uh, Flores is actually really fun, and I really like Flores, so I'm gonna put Flores, um... Should it be in front of Gridlock or behind? He has great guns, and his gadget can make the defender run to an attacker accidentally. But does that happen always? No. In front of Aruni, behind Rook. Fun guns, I really like the guns. Um, gadget is really fun too. And I like the cosmetics he has. He's okay, he's not the best, not the worst. And some people can play him so well and like time everything so well and do like really good damage with him. So he can be good. I think Thunderbird is overrated as heck. I don't think she's that good. She can help def defenders but also attackers, which is kind of meh. So I think she deserves a spot there. She is. Her guns are decent. Her gas can be just shot by one bullet or to be. Twitch strong gun, I guess, too. I haven't ever tried that. And then other things. So it's easy to break the gadgets, too. So it's worse, worse talk, in my opinion. For real. But then again, when I think about this, if you die and you still have the gadgets, you can help the defenders. But then again, you can also help the attack attackers. So mm, I still think she's worse than Doc. Osa is actually really good. Um, I would put her as high as there. The same gun as Jacko and Termite has. Great guns both. Um, the shields. Really fun to use. And can be really useful. But she's not like always needed. She's not the best of her. She's just okay. Torn. Rarely see her work for anyone. Let me think about this a bit, a little bit. If you get her to work, I think she's better than Jacko. Not better than Ash, Lion, or these people, but she can be good. Okay, her guns are kind of fun, but she's not the best. Now I'm gonna check this list, so I, I'm gonna be sure. Yeah, I think the order look looks pretty much right. I wouldn't change much anything here. Obviously, I like Cap and I would like to put her like here, but I don't think Cap is that good. Okay. Uh oh, lags. So, yes, this is the list, and I think we are done now. I think some people are gonna really disagree on some of these, like the fact that Jaeger is this low, the fact that Kali is only here and Dokkab is only here, but honestly, I don't. These operators are, in my opinion, never like really that useful. They never really work that well for anyone. If you're a good player, Kali, definitely like A, S tier. If you're a good player, Dokkabi, at least B tier. But I never really see that. And the guns are mediocre, so... I would even do this. Kali is better than Dokkabi, in my opinion. But I think this is a good order now, and I am happy with this. So thank you for watching, and um, if you have some thoughts, some ideas, some changes you would do, just let me know. Obviously, again, this is my tier list, and these are my thoughts. Um, I try to be non-biased. I know that some people might think Lion doesn't deserve to be this high up, but I have played him so much that I have learned how to play him effect effectively, so he's good. Okay? Don't come at me. And these are just great operators overall. I really like all of these. I know maybe some people would be surprised of some of the choices on the A tier, but this is just my opinion again. And the operators I see being used the well, well, the well, the best I meant to say, like the S and A tier. I see people use these operators the best. I use them really good too. They are easy to use, at least most of them. The gadgets are great.